Ed Rigsby with another cigar review. I'm pretty excited today to tell you about something that's not even on the market yet. This video is being done in August of 2013 and this new CAO from General Cigar, um, it's called the Flathead, it's going to be uh, shipped to the uh, retailers as far as the gift packs in September and then the open stock in October. So. Don't get too excited because you can't even buy this when you start watching this video. I met Rick Rodriguez, who is the CEO, CAO Master Blender, and um, at the um, International Premium Cigar and Pipe Retailer Show in Las Vegas a couple weeks ago. And um, this is about the fourth or fifth one of these flatheads that I've had. And they're doing a, um, a whole thing where it's like uh, the names of the muscle car engines. And I'll go over that in just a minute. But what I'm pretty excited, it's, it's a brawny Connecticut leaf wrapper. Now, if you look at the color of it, it's, um, it, it's almost a Maduro. And uh, if you notice in the back, I punched it rather than cut it because of the fact that it's flat. It's pressed square. Um, as a draw... I got to give this thing a 1 out of 10, 10, 10 being top 10. This is a fabulous draw. It's, it's, oh, just, it comes out so well. Now, on the flavor, it's got this great kind of um, leathery spice flavor that I really enjoy. Um, and on the strength, on the Ed Rigsby kick ass scale, it's kind of getting up there around an 8. Now, this cigar. I took some of these to an event uh, in my community about two weeks ago, and I uh, gave a couple people the cigars. They loved them. Last week at my Cigar Peg charity event in Philadelphia, I took a couple of them. Everybody I gave these two things to loved them. So what's going to be on the market coming up very soon? As you can see, this is what the, um, the 550 um, camshaft looks like. This is the 660. It's getting a little bit bigger. Now, this monster here, this, <laughs> I haven't smoked this thing yet. This is called the 770. This is, this is going to be a beast when I smoke this thing. But um, I'm, I'm going to pull out my book. And I know some of you told me not to use the book, but I snagged this. This is the retailer's guide. So I snagged this to the book. And so um, the important thing to, to understand with this, I don't know if you can quite see the picture. I don't know if you're going to, I don't necessarily want you to look at the price list, but if you see here, the way they're going to come boxed, it kind of looks like um, a little bit of an engine, and they come with, uh, with pinup girls. So it's, it's a whole new idea, and even what's very, very cool, this is probably not too important, check this out, I love this, you just set this car. And it stands up. So, how many cigars do you have that will stand up like this? Here's my thought. This flathead is amazing. As soon as you get it in the retail stores, go ask your retailer stores for it. Put them on order. It's, um, the 550 is a perfect cigar. It's just awesome. I love it. Now, also, I've been hearing about Costco's. This is their uh, Spy Side Single Malt 20-year-old from Kirkland. And um, it's uh, sherry finish, uh, aged in a sherry cask. Now, I haven't had it yet, um, although I did have uh, over at my house the other day a, um, a master sommelier. His name is Eddie Austin, and he was explaining to my wife and I that most people drink their, their, their white wine too cold and drink their uh, red wine too warm. And he also went through with the alcohol that you want to have it at just a certain cold so you get the sugar. So I did put an ice cube in here. So I'm going to give this a try. First shot at it. Hope that's enough for me. And I'll let you know what I think. So it's a single malt, scotch, Kirkland brand, Kirkland brand 20 year old. Oh my god, that's nice and sweet. Ooh. The, um, the cherry cask finish. Mm. It, oh, you've got to go try this. It, um, it was $45 for the bottle, which I thought was pretty reasonable for 20-year-old scotch. So that's amazing. That's on my to-buy list. I really like that. It's, um, you know, there's no raspy peat. No 
raspy after I just just a nice nice scotch and this um, this flathead my recommendation as soon as you can get a hold of one try it I think you're gonna find it's gonna be one of your favorite cigars because it sure is one of mine now one thing I'd like you to do do me a favor like this video and also subscribe to my YouTube channel you have a great day and I'll talk to you next time